morning guys, welcome back to the channel, old school window cleaners, seven jobs on today, so not a massive day, I'm hopefully going to try and get some footage, I do say that a lot, but those of you who follow my channel know that I think I said on my last video, yeah, did I? I'm not sure if I uploaded that video, that I damaged my phone, so I've had to get another temporary phone while mine's away being repaired, replaced, whatever. Um, so I've had to use this one and for some reason it can record for ages, but then when you go to use it again, it'll only record in like 30 second stints. I think it's something to do with the memory in it, because the memory's not massive. So, we'll see what we can get, see what we can upload. I have, asked, have had somebody ask me if I could do a video on my technique. I'm not sure if I've got one. <laughs> um, I don't know about any other traditional window cleaners, but I don't always do them the same way, if that makes sense. I um, Sometimes I'll cut in from middle to edge, sometimes I'll cut in corner to corner, sometimes I'll dive bomb down to the bottom, down to the other side. I don't, I don't, I just kind of, however I'm feeling at the time, do it. Either, either way you're going to get the same results. Um, I know there are quicker ways and some people, I know, Bob from Poles and Blades, he, um, you watch his videos, he's methodically the same all the time because he's quick, he's efficient and when you're more efficient you become quicker with zero mistakes which is why he sticks to the to the way he does it, which, which is understandable. So, so I'm just checking the B&Q queue out, it's not too bad this morning. I've got to finish the kitchen at some point. It's all tiled, painted, ceilings painted. Just got to put some uh, some trim and finishing edges off. That's about it. Anyway, we're not here to talk about my kitchen. We are here to waffle because you do know a lot to waffle. About, I thought that van was going to cut me up then. Yes, about my technique. I haven't really got a technique to be honest. I just kind of, like I say, I just just do as I go along and however the mood kind of takes me. We've got some nice weather booked, uh, booked in this week. I looked on the forecast. Well, I'll say booked in as if I've got some kind of control over it. it makes me feel better. Which probably means at 11 o'clock it'll pour down, even though they haven't forecast any rain. They will say, Oh no, it's going to be nice today. And then it'll pour down. But we shall see. So let's get to our first job, we've got a new customer to do today, oh, new customers, new customers are great, well I say they're great, they're a bit of a hindrance sometimes because they want to stand and chat to you, they're just being friendly, you know, are you, are you local and how long have you been doing it, and, you know, all, all that normal kind of stuff that, um, that you get from people. So let's get to our first job. We will try and get some footage. That's not even a speed bump there, it's like a bloody, you need a monster truck to get over it. Speed bumps. There are them stupid little dotty bits in the middle of the road, 
which you just, unless you've got a reliant robbing, you have to just drive through the middle of, you know, just to get the middle of your car. Um, or they are a bloody 10 foot. A 10 foot uh, hill, like that one was. So, let's get to the first job and let's crack on. Catch you in a bit, guys.